Tell us exactly how AI is helping to improve the matching process here. Well, there are really two big issues in organ transplantation, as you were mentioning. On the one hand, you need to match an organ to a recipient, and then after transplantation, you need to care for that patient throughout the lifetime of that patient. We are applying very novel sequencing technology in or for matching the organ with the recipient, and then after that, we are using the same sequencing technology to care for these patients, detecting uh, rejection episodes early, making sure that clinicians have the information to treat patients and to prevent rejections uh, episodes to occurring in the past. In so how does the forward. sequencing technology actually work and how is it different from a matching process without your technology? You know, this is next generation sequencing. It's really the future in diagnostics. Um, we're applying um, this technology to match an organ with a recipient on a very, very granular level. We do that in organ transplantation, in bone marrow transplantation, and in transplantation overall. Now, in the post transplant area, we can actually detect the DNA of the transplanted organ in the bloodstream of the recipient. That's a very novel technology. And the cell free DNA technology is revolutionizing how we can care for patients because it re de detects rejection episodes earlier. Now you add on this an artificial intelligence platform that allows clinicians to have a deeper insight in, in aggregating all the various data streams and it allows them to make better decisions and potentially detecting issues so much earlier than they can do today. So how much are you improving success rates? What are the numbers? We have a very clear focus as an organization to improve patients' lives by three years. Now, we're very early in the ability to impact this, but we are building an, an amazing platform at CareDX in order to do so. We can focus on immune modulation. We can focus on adherence and compliance, making sure that patients are actually taking their meds and seeing their doctors on a regular interval. And then afterwards, we also can focus on standardization and precision medicine, individualizing the care that the individual patient receives the perfect care for that individual patient is really what we're all about at CareDX. So we are applying precision medicine tools to the field of transplantation. We have built a tremendous platform to deliver and partner with the transplant ecosystem to make that available to, to, to transplant patients. Your revenue grew 85% year over year. How does this scale? How do you get this technology accessible to more patients, more recipients? You know, this is a really an amazing growth story. We have built this tremendous platform in transplant medicine. Um, over the last 18 months, we have already achieved 5% patient penetration in kidney transplant patients in the US. Um, we see this as a $2 billion market opportunity. When we talked about this $2 billion market opportunity four or five years ago, people were wondering, why is that? The reason is that these transplant patients really live for 10 to 15 years, and there's a recurring revenue opportunity for us on testing these patients throughout the lifetime of the patient. So CareDX has a model that follows these patients over a very long period of time, which financially is very attractive. But much more important, we are changing patients' lives by making sure that we are detecting rejection episodes early so scientifically so, very interesting yeah how do you expand this technology is there any intention or any ability to expand this beyond organ transplants uh, no, absolutely. You have, on the one hand, transplantation is a unique opportunity in the context of being at the pinnacle of medical science. You called it the miracle of, of medicine, and it truly is. But if you think about it, really innovation happens at the, at the top of the innovation curve. So if you have innovation at the top of the pyramid, this will allow us to learn a lot for other areas. We are doing now uh, in transplantation about the top 200 medical centers in the United States are doing uh, transplantation. Now, once we have built an ecosystem that allows us to have artificial intelligence and augmented intelligence relationships right. with these centers integrate into electronic medical records, we can roll that, in the, that platform out into many other areas.